Welcome to the History Hunter, welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. When you see us go out, we do research, we travel to locations and we actually do find stuff. We're not storytellers reading out from books and adding some music, we actually do the real deal. And some of the things that we find are pretty, pretty interesting. I have to say some of the finds that we've done are actually spectacular. But then again, some of the finds that we do are actually just totally pure boring. And what could be more boring than some pieces of coal? Well, it could be, but for us they're actually very, very interesting. You can see that we find coal pieces in the barrack areas of the German here, the German Luftwaffe. We found them absolutely everywhere, even in the SS uh, Reich departments. And it's amazing to see all those small little pieces. Me and Eagle Eyes, we just sat down the other day and we were wondering Will that coal from the Second World War actually burn today? And is it possible to create a little beautiful barbecue moment with those pieces? Well, we really didn't know, so we wanted to find out. So why don't you join us in this really special little adventure? Please subscribe, comment, share. Watch our videos in full length. That's the best way you can support us. And with no further ado, let's go out and find out what this is all about. Well, to do that, we have to find coal. This is a massive tunnel complex that the Germans had here. And we have actually spotted some coal here earlier. So let's see if we can find it. I think we found some on this side here. Let's check it out. I think this is the area where you dug it out. Just pull it out or something. Is that a piece? Oh, that's a piece. Let me see it, let me see it. Yeah, that's cold piece. And the, are there any more? Just dig, oh, there's one, there's one. Okay, so we have, hold it. There's two pieces. Let's wrap it around here, see if we can find more. And I think we spotted a little piece right there. This is in the opening. So there's three pieces. Let's see if we can find some more. I think it's another huge piece of coal. Look at that monster. That is coal, definitely used in the German facility here. I don't know why I enjoy these finds as well. These uh, coal pieces, they are giving off signal, you see? That's because they um, heated their bunkers and barracks and repair facilities, hangars, all of that. And that is so cool to find here because this is kind of like a pile of trash and who knows what else there could be in that trash pile. This is a German World War II bunker oven submerged in water with tons of uh, uh, ceramic plates just laying around the floor. This is a hidden gem that we rarely share with anyone. But this is the bunker oven where the uh, German soldiers will heat their food and uh, heat their coffee, heat, warm up their hands after a heavy duty guard duty out in the winter storms. And you can see the attachment point of the ventilation is actually still there as it was. It has never been moved. It's a memory from the past. So beautiful. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find the coal from the German bunker oven. and We're gonna see if we can make that burn again today. Well, we got back. Let's empty them out and uh, check them out. This is what it will look like. Yeah. This is cold pieces from the Second World War. We are going to clean them first. We are actually going to try to separate the big chunks, make them a bit smaller. And we are actually going to try to make a barbecue with this stuff here. Used a chisel and a hammer, and we just split them in two, just to have kind of basically the same size. And uh, now we're gonna clean out some of the debris and actually clean the coal pieces themselves. We're just gonna take away the leaves and stuff, just see if they look okay. Put them back in the bucket because we're just gonna clean off, you know, there's a lot of soil 
and stuff on them so we want them to be you know without all of that no leaves this is fantastic just remember these pieces were in a bunker oven in a German barrack or a German bunker some of these have been taken from a um, a underground complex yeah put them up there so we're just gonna clean them just slightly and then we're gonna let them dry so we're just gonna rinse them off just clean them off a little bit and when we fill it with water we're just gonna rumble it around and uh, then we get all the soil off the uh, cold pieces you can actually see everything turning brown now very nice it's all about teamwork trying to do the right thing to get the right result it's thanks to all of you beautiful people out there who support us that we can actually do projects like this travel research go to locations find stuff and then again share great material and i bet you've never ever seen anyone trying to get coal from the second world war from the german bunkers to burn so it's a pretty unique project all right let's bring them inside i'm gonna empty them out next stage of the process to actually let them dry completely and uh wow this is time to get exciting yeah look how clean they are there are no soil or mud on them very nice well we are getting closer to our targets to do some barbecue with uh, the german world war ii bunker coal so let's have a look at the modern coal piece compared to uh, the german coal piece there we have them they look black this is coated from the uh, factory of the uh, one-time barbecue with some burning liquid so we are actually going to do just that with the the rest of uh, these cold pieces so the basic idea is to do the same as we do in modern time we just drip on a couple of drops of this uh, liquid which the other ones are impregnated with That's probably just to make them start going and we're going to do the same yep all right put in more so these are the pieces that we are going to have a beautiful barbecue on a little bit more a little bit more yeah so this is like a history and science lesson for eagle eyes and maybe all of you out there if you ever find coal from the german activity make a barbecue <laughs> Finally, finally, Eagle Eyes and myself, we got a chance to show you will the German World War II coal burn and give us the possibility to a very nice barbecue. We are heading up, we are on a road trip and we just passed this area and we just remembered a very special place for us that we're going to share with you. Well, we have shared it, but now we're just going to go up there and uh, we are going to find out if we can barbecue some hot dogs on the German coal. So we'll meet you up there on the top. It's taking some time, but we have plenty of time. This is what we do. We go out, research, find the locations, and we share beautiful material with you. We're not readers. We don't read from the book and add some beautiful music. We are adventurers, so that's what we do. Yep. That is camouflage cam canvas hooks on this position where the Germans were before us. And right here, we are going to set up the barbecue. That is a panzer turret. It used to be a panzer turret in that hole. The whole complete panzer turret bunker is just underneath us. And we thought, what could be more suitable than for us trying to create a memorable little location here at the German position using their coal that is actually also picked inside from this bunker specifically so let's rig it up and see what we can do about this German coal from the Second World War 
So there are the pieces of coal cleaned and set up for barbecuing. Now we're gonna rig up a little thing here and uh, let's hope for the best. This is basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna have this little thing here. When it starts to really heat up, we're gonna use that pan. Boom, maybe not like that. We're gonna take it out of the plastic first. <laughs> we have some ketchup and I can't wait, I'm hungry, let's do this. So what's the temperature there now? 9.5 Celsius, 9.3. Let's see if we can get this going. Well, got a lighter, we have some paper tissue right there. Let's see if we can get this going. The paper tissue is burning. It's gonna be very, very exciting. <laughs> Maybe we should have lit it up here as well, if that's possible. Yeah, ow! I'm not sure whether it's just the uh, paper that is burning right now. Can we do this? Can we do this? <laughs> I'm gonna get that paper going, that's not easy. It kind of starts going there. Well, we managed to start doing something here we thought we just covered it up see if we can get the temperature to rise inside there i'm not sure whether we should have used this thing here on top there maybe like that kind of concentrate the heat inside sounds looks pretty nice i think it's actually starting to do so am i burning the camera <laughs> <laughs> wow, is that really starting to burn? I think it is. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing here off. How do we get this off now? Oh my goodness, wait, wait, wait. It's doing even better than I thought it would. Look at that, it is actually, are you freaking kidding? Look at that, holy, we are actually, getting coal from the Second World War to burn again. Ah, oh, that is amazing. Yeah, we're gonna see what temperature it is now, but, but you can't use it like it is that because it won't work. You have to wait till it's kind of fallen down the flames. You have to wait till it's kind of settled down. I'm not believing this, but this is so cool and it's really hot actually. You can feel the heat all the way up here. Wow, so there is the coal, 9.3 degrees. There is the coal, 200, 195, 180, 206. Wow, I think we are actually doing it. Sizzling away on our German World War II barbecue. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying this. Too bad you can't smell the good vibes down there. We can, but at least we are sharing great material with you. As I said, we're not out there reading books and presenting read-ups. We do the hard work, the tough work out there, and we do whatever it takes to show you special material. So. This, I think no one else has ever shown you that. We have uh, proven that the uh, German World War II coal most definitely burned even today, so many years after. There you go. That's a hot dog heated and barbecued, warmed up by German World War II bunker and barrack coal. Found by us on some of our trips. For me, that is pure magic. Put about a liter of water on it, it's still oozing away. Well, it actually did its purpose twice. Once during the Second World War, and one now that we are dead hungry after our adventure here out in the forest. What about that? German coal from the Second World War, reused, we did it. Such a blast to do. We took the coal from the different kind of locations. We made a little barbecue 
and we pro proved that it is actually possible to burn them over again. And who knows, we might do this in 10 years time and we can see if it actually burns even the third time. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed that. That's what we do. We go out and do special things and we present them for you. And I hope you learned something today. We did for sure. And I do know how the taste of a barbecue uh, is after using German World War II um, cold pieces. If you like our material, please watch our videos in full, subscribe, comment, share. If you like to check out the other videos, watch them in full, check out the ads, put on a couple in your lunch hour, help us out in any way you can. Other than that, please watch our uh, giveaway videos in the beginning of each month. You can see how you can become a patron or PayPal supporter and I create and give away some beautiful World War II dioramas and shadow boxes. So check that video out if you'd like to support us in that way. Thanks for watching. Definitely see you later out there. Stay safe and keep smiling.